Uigard attacks Gozel with the Militium, but Gol manages to block his blows in addition to defending Ulimina's from the Militium creature, while Balarasa found Fleo to warn him about the monster that appeared, and it seems that Uigard the current Demon King and the others were disguised in the resort and on the way she saw Gozel with some demons, and maybe they could be conspiring together which Fleo didn't believe, and in fact he was sure she knew too, and since Gozel and Ulimina's were there. He had nothing to worry about, and could focus on defending the buildings. And before continuing the final episode, leave that registration to help with our goal of 2000 subscribers and by the way, don't forget to like and comment a lot to receive the anime of the new season, but enough of the fuss and let's go to the anime. Uigard tries to attack Gozel who possessed an impressive power, but Gozel considered his brother's manipulation of Militium to be a problem, so they needed to get the human out of the magic stone urgently, which RYS considered easy, and in her enraged state, she questions how they dared to ruin her trip with her husband and teleports to the hero to get him out of the crystal with a nice punch, making the Militia monster disappear, which leaves the servant of the hero desperate with the height he was falling, but Gozel prevents his fall, after all, he had promised that he would not harm humans, which Uigard considered, but Gozel asks Ulimina's to take care of the others, while dealing with Uigard and questions if he did not intend to retreat, which he denies, after all, he would make the mess he wanted, since that was what the demons did, and he goes back to attack Gozel who says that as he is, he was the demon king, he had to learn to pay attention to his surroundings, making Uigard enraged. While Ulimina's questioned what the other demons intended to do since they were on Uigard's side, but none of the generals were in the mood to fight, unlike Fufin who tries to attack her, but of course she ends up doing badly, while Uigard had his blows reflected by Gozel, but the demon notices that even reflecting them he still took damage. So he amplifies his power with Militium to attack him again, and says that he doesn't he was nothing more than a stupid pacifist who lost his aggressive nature and only focused on defense, but Gozel holds Uigard's face and says that he thought he would never have to use this power again and asks for forgiveness from his brother, who goes to the ground without understanding why he can't release the Militium. So Gozel explains that the Militium was the source of the demon's immense physical strength and for this reason he sealed it temporarily, and at this time it was no different from humans, leaving Uigard indignant for not knowing this. Spell and Gozel says that he perfected it to defeat the ancient demon king, but it was a spell that humans were trying to create to deal with the ancient demon king who pressured humans, and for this reason he believed that trying to force enemies into submission would bring about the destruction of the demons making Uigard outraged that he had used the spell of an inferior race, and ends up being surprised by the staff of the inn who decide to intervene in the fight and use their talismans to trap the demons that caused the riot leaving everyone confused about what had happened and the head of the inn explains that the clothes of this place were imbued with magic for emergency cases, and as they were bothering the other customers, she sends the demons in Team Rocket style taking off again leaving everyone impressed. While RYS filled the hero with slaps, but of course it was just to get the rest of Militium out and not because she was annoyed, but Balarasa warns her that Fleo was going to cast the repair spell, bringing the inn to what it was before and in this way everyone helps with the cleaning, in addition to treating the wounded, while the hero tried to escape from the hot springs by digging a hole and of course this idea didn't work at all. But then the owner of the inn thanks Fleo and his friends for all the help and as a form of gratitude they would work their best to serve them while enjoying the hot springs and of course RYS only thought about the source of fertility. And so the girls enjoy the hot springs while Ulimina's noticed that Balarasa was kind of big if you know what I mean and meanwhile Damalina's questioned what the shameless Jin did in the women's bath, but HIY questions if she was jealous and promises to give her a lot of attention later making Damalina's indignant, and as for Balano and Blossom they were curious about where Byerly was while that mess was going on and HIY answers that the two of them were enjoying a secret time together, which was kind of suspicious, and so the girls tried to get her to tell her what had happened. But in the other hot spring, Fleo said he was happy that everyone was getting along and Gozel says that the hot springs helped a lot and Fleo admits that he never thought that one day he would be in a fountain with him, which Gozel agrees with, although he admits that he was interested in him from the day they met, but it wasn't to get it wrong. After all that day he remained calm and collected in his presence, and above he used his great power for the peace of the two races and not for his own interests and maybe if the two join forces they will be able to build a new relationship between humans and demons, or at least that's what he imagined and Fleo replies that he was overestimating him, and it could be true that he possessed a gigantic amount of magical power, but unfortunately, there was no spell that can eliminate conflicts of this world. Then, nothing would change if they just trusted the magic. Making Gozel ask him what he thought would bring about the change, which Fleo didn't know how to answer, but at least he met new companies that he could trust 
so he intended to take advantage of everyone's help to do what he can, and Gozel promises to help him in whatever way he can, as one of his companions, making Fleo happy to accept his help. But then everyone starts eating and one of the employees gives a special dish for RYS to gain a lot of energy at night and Balarasa goes to Gozel, who is surprised as she thanks him for what he did earlier, since RYS told her that he did everything to protect humans making Gozel smile. After all he couldn't break the promise he made to her making Yuliminas indignant or maybe jealous. But this way they enjoy the meal. And at night RYS covers Blossom and is happy to finally be alone with Fleo, who asks her what she thought of humans and the girl replies that at first glance they looked weaker than the Lupins, but recognizes that among humans individual superiority was not determined by military ability, and still remembered the feeling of defeat when she ate the candy that Balarasa had made that had a soft and light feel and recognizes that it was difficult for her to say what she thought about humans, but now, she didn't consider them enemies and even felt affection, and is curious about the reason for the question, and Fleo replies that he just wanted to know what she felt since the battle between humans and demons would get worse, and if that happened he would have to protect the city to make sure people don't get hurt and would like his help, after all. He wanted to screen her by his side to make sure he wouldn't overdo it, and also to prevent him from being too much on the side of the humans, since. That way they would go through this without making mistakes, making RYS emotional by promising to follow him anywhere. After all, she was his wife and in addition they had to ensure that their son can live a safe life and so they kiss and well, one thing takes another one and will move on to the next day. Where everyone recognizes that RYS was in a great mood in addition to his skin being stunning, making the girls realize what had happened unlike Gozel, who doesn't understand anything, but finally they teleport home and go back to living their normal lives with Blossom harvesting the vegetables to prepare something tasty, for when Bolano returns from her first day, as a teacher, and HIYA harvests the magically created vegetables leaving Blossom impressed that they are still delicious and even SYB enjoys the new vegetable, while Byerly said that they could count on her and the horses to take the vegetables to the city. And as for Gozel he was helping Fleo with the creation of items, despite admitting that this was quite complicated and Yulimina's questions what he was doing and if he intended to open a gun shop which he thinks is a great idea, leaving the girl outraged. But Balarosa greets them and admits that the armor that Gozel created was very useful, making him happy and Yulimina's indignant. But Balarosa changes the subject and remembers that today was the day of the princess's coronation, which Fleo confirms, and surely the castle city must have been very agitated and Balarosa hoped that the demons would not take the opportunity to start an advance, which Gozel thought was impossible. After all, it would take a while for Uigard to regain his powers, so until then the times of peace would last. And after the coronation, the queen asks about her father's whereabouts, which the advisor couldn't find out, since he was sure he ran away when the evil deeds of those who worked behind the scenes were exposed, and the queen admits that even though he was her father, it saddened her, so they should continue the search, after all, she couldn't waste the opportunity that Fleo gave her. So she would rebuild this kingdom at any cost and about the great hero, he kept fleeing through the holes in the hope of being recognized again, while his servant wept. But that afternoon RYS called everyone to dinner while Fleo thought that initially he came to this world alone and all he could do was try to survive. But now he had companions and a new dream and asks RYS what she thought about selling her homemade sweets when he opens a store making the girl excited, and she suggests that they also sell the cakes of Balarasa and Fleo suggests that they use the vegetables of Blossom in some of them, which RYS considered perfect, since this way they could also sell vegetable lunchboxes and recognizes that their dream was growing, and so the two enter the house with their large family, or would it be Pack? Marking the end of our first season with the questioning in the post-credit about a possible continuation. So leave your like and subscribe and don't forget to comment and share a lot to continue receiving the videos of the next season, thank you and see you next time.